The technique of liquid-liquid extraction is a form of solvent extraction which is often referred to simply as a separation. And we do this using a separating funnel as shown on the screen. The technique can be used in a range of contexts and it's important that you understand why you're carrying out a separation in the experiment that you're doing. In this demonstration, we have a solution of a product of a reaction in an organic solvent, which in this case is diethyl ether. We are going to wash the solution with water to remove impurities which are water soluble. The first step is to remove the magnetic stirring flea from the reaction flask, and we need to wash this with ether to ensure that we don't lose any of our product. We now need to pour the solution of our product into the separating funnel, taking care to avoid any spillages so it's wise to use a small glass funnel as we pour. Then we can rinse our reaction flask with more ether to ensure that no product is lost. Now we add the water which we're using to wash our reaction mixture with. It's important that you pay attention to your script which may specify a different solvent and a particular volume that you need to work with. Next you need to place a stopper in the neck of the separating funnel and you must ensure that you don't allow this to fall out at any point while you're handling the apparatus. Secure the stopper with one hand and carefully invert the separating funnel. Now you can gently shake the funnel while periodically opening the tap to release pressure. Normally you carry out these steps several times to ensure thorough mixing of the two layers. And then with the tap closed you can carefully replace the funnel in the ring on the clamp stand. Here you can clearly see the two separate layers in the funnel. In this case the dense aqueous layer is at the bottom and the ether layer is on top. However you should never make assumptions about which layer is which and you may be given instructions that tell you how to test which layer is organic and which is aqueous. Before running any solvent out of the funnel you must first remove the stopper. Not doing so is a common error which will prevent the solvent from running freely. Now you should place an appropriately sized conical flask under the separating funnel before carefully opening the tap to allow the lower layer to run out. You should watch patiently as the interface between the two layers moves towards the tap so you are able to stop the flow once all of the lower layer has been removed. Remember that in this case the lower layer was the aqueous layer. Now you can remove this flask and place a second clean conical flask under the separating funnel to collect the upper layer. As always, you should check your script to see what you've got to do next. You may be expected to return one of the layers to the separating funnel to carry out further extraction steps. In this case, however, we are simply going to dry the organic layer using magnesium sulfate. Other drying agents that may be used could include calcium chloride and sodium sulfate, so make sure you read the script before proceeding. If the drying agent forms clumps, as shown here, that's a sign that the solution is still wet and that more drying agent is required. When you can see a snowstorm effect like this, you know that the solution is dry and that no more drying agent is needed. You can now remove the drying agent by gravity filtration before consulting the script once again to identify your next step.